How's the married life? It was definitely really good up until this afternoon. You know, some clarity kind of kicked in. And I was like, you know what? I need some affirmation. And so I texted her and I was like, yo. I said, I know this is a stupid question, you know, and I know we've talked about the future, we've talked about houses, we've talked about renting a spot. <laughs> right. And, you know, I said, but I just need to hear it. And I was just like, well, I said, well, can you tell me just that you, like, can you tell me that you're saying yes on decision day? Right. She says, where's that coming from? And I was like, no, I was just, I need to hear, I need the affirmation. Right. And so what it boiled down to is she was deflecting. You know, she was just like, I told you I'm in it. You know, I told you I'm gonna be patient. And that's what she answered my question. Mm. When I gave Maya away, I was under the impression that we were on the same page. Right. You know, and if at any point she felt any doubt, but there was 98%, 99, she should have been like, hey baby, I love you, I want this, right. but I'm still a little on the fence about this. Right, Can just we... communicate like the insecurities about it. Exactly. Or just something, right? Exactly, and, and, and for her to be such a direct person and not communicate that to me, you know, it's almost like you don't wanna hurt my feelings. Cause like, if, if I'm gonna spend my whole life with you, like I need to know that you are sure. Justin came out today and he was like, I just need to hear that you're going to say yes. And mind you, this is a text message. So I'm like in the middle of work. Wait, what? Yeah. In a text message? In a text message, girl. He was saying how he was yes, but now that we're having this conversation, he doesn't know if he's gonna say yes. And I'm like, so your decision's dependent upon mine? And in so many words, he said yes. Um, uh -oh. To where I'm just like, you have more to think about. You know, I asked her a few days ago, you know, how she was doing. She's like, I'm actually doing really good. Right. You know, she was like, uh, the way our relationship feels now, uh, she was like, you're not as on edge anymore. Yeah, well, that, you know? that's, that's good though. That's really good. Yeah. But when I, when I asked for that, the affirmation, I was just like, hey, you know, you are saying yes, right? And she's still been deflecting, still mm. hadn't answered the question. The way she answered it, she was just like, you said you wanted me to be patient, I'm gonna be patient. That doesn't answer my question though. Right. I think Alexis is immature, and I think she's just a liar. I, I, like, I just think, like, she's leading Justin on. She just needs to be straight up with him. Everything else, she's very direct and upfront and vocal about things, but when it comes to a yes or no, she can't even answer it. That's weird. You know, I don't think she's willing to go through those uncom uncomfortable com uh, compromises. Right. You know, and put herself out there 100% vulnerable. You know, I don't think she's ready for that. He has made a whirlwind of a change since day one, for sure. Um, but sometimes he still reverts back to some of those old ways where I'm like, I thought we were past this, and it kind of scares me because it's just like, I'm seeing the change, I'm honoring the change. But when those little glimpses of old Justin come out, I'm just like, scared. Him saying outbursts when he's upset. Like, what if we have kids? What if we buy a house? You know, like, it's so much bigger. I'm thinking, like, generational. Yeah. So that's when it becomes challenging, because it's just like, once I have a kid, it's too late. You know, and if he hasn't worked on himself, we haven't worked on each other, I haven't worked on myself to come to like a common theme, and I'm pregnant, then what? A big part of me wants to say yes, but it's that small little, like, oh, no, girl, can you tolerate this for the rest of your life? And tolerate is not even a word I should have used. So that is the explanation in and it of itself. So I don't know. I'm being honest, man. I think uh, I think I got my mind made up. You know, and the reason I got my mind made up is because I've recognized I've taken my feelings out of it, and now I'm looking at facts. It's really easy yeah. to get emotional and make an emotional decision, and I've been doing that. Uh -huh. You know, you guys already know I'm an emotional person. Yeah. So yeah. for me to be like, you know what, I'm gonna take my emotions out of it, and I'm gonna step out and I'm gonna view the facts. Right. If I hadn't asked that question today, I would have went in blindsided thinking like it was all 100% on both ends. You know, I would have. Like, I gave up my baby, yo. And that hurt my soul. And I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna suck it up, I'm gonna deal with it, because that's marriage, but not in her eyes. And I'd be lying to myself. It, you know, I, I'll definitely, I would be lying to myself if I said, hey, you know what? It's definitely a yes. Right. It's probably uh, a 90% no for me. Damn. And, and I just feel like I was played.